Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. Ooh, you're so musical. <laughs> so stays back. Tell some friends. Forget Rub my back. <laughs> so stay nutrition. Oh, I didn't get my it. Welcome back. We've been away for a while because Joe broke the camera. <laughs> <laughs> right, Joe. It's been a while. What are we talking about? The small things making a big difference. Oh, you oh, know this. I got a bit nervous there. I think Jimmy was going to mess it up. You have to so you got uh, sticking out your thing. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right, so what do we mean by that? Ah, excuse me. So we mean that people making small errors with regards to their nutrition Boo -boos. is undoing their progress. So people think they are being perfect and kind of questioning why they're not getting results. And then the answers turn out to be almost obvious. That's it. So, you know, kind of big part of our philosophy is making just small changes uh, to add up to huge differences. So that obviously can work when we flip it round. So if you keep on making these small little mistakes, like say just having like a couple of teaspoons, no one has teaspoons, <laughs> tablespoons of peanut butter each day, then those calories are going to add up and eventually it's going to affect your results or the results that you want. Yeah, it's so easy. We wanted to kind of like, like we've made two tops out of two different tops. <laughs> times are hard, times are hard. Carry on. You've thrown me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's those little things, those little kind of like, oh, don't sweat it, you know, it's not going to make a difference. Well, eventually it all adds up, it's going to make a difference. Yeah, I think the, the issue there, James mentioned it, is saying, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, I think it's trying to make sure that if those small things are making a difference, you know, you'll be able to tell by if your results are plateauing and you're not really getting anywhere, but everything else is good, then it can be those small things that are gonna add up. So people tend to have the mentality of, oh, it's only half a glass of wine, it's only this, it's only that. But if it's 200 calories every single day from, from bad sources or from inefficient sources, then ultimately it's, it is going to add up. You know, it's people having a finger of Kit Kat a day or whatever, it does. No one has one finger. No. Well, not, <laughs> not, not around these parts anyway. So, you, know, you just need to be aware that <laughs> too much these things. Sure. Yeah, and I was like, mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, we're so slick. <laughs> so that's it. So, you know, if you like, have, um, you know, an extra portion of nuts, like say our peanut butter, and that's like 150 calories, easy per day, you know, over the course of a week, then that's over a thousand calories. Just under, oh no, he's over a thousand. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Boom, and he's a smart one. <laughs> Yeah, so that is going to make obviously a massive difference. Yeah, you know, over your kind of weekly, monthly, and especially yearly yeah. total. Yeah, that's the thing. People tend to get so obsessed with not seeing the difference immediately. But if you can lose, you know, half a pound a week, it's two stone a year. And the number of people who aren't able to maintain their results, you know, year on year, you know, they might lose two stone. But if they put it back on, then what's the point? So ultimately, these small sacrifices can make the big difference long term. So you know, there's always going to be small things and like I said we're always kind of all about kind of like living your life and you know you're going out for meals with loved ones and families and you know maybe even hot dates Joe yeah. maybe there's, there's hope for you yet um, but you have to kind of rein in the rest of the week you know what I mean so that's why we're kind of all about you know planning these occasions and not just making little minor slips each day which is going to ultimately affect your goal um, so you've got to control what you eat basically yeah so you know we're saying that you can have small treats each day but if that's your treat, I think the problem people have is they have kind of a set treat and they have these small breaks every single day as well and that's when the you know, the, the differences really do add up and when you look at the numbers it's is what the difference between success and failure. So that's it. So you know what I mean if you for whatever reason your you know, whatever your goal is, whether it's kinda, of, you know, the fat loss or muscle gain or if this is not happening then you need to kind of micromanage your food and have a look at it and see exactly what's going on. So if you are unsure of what you're doing Oh here we go. <laughs> go to sustainnutrition.co.uk. There's a free nutritional review where you'll send us your food, we'll have a little look and we'll tell you what you're doing wrong and areas to improve upon. There you Top go. hints, yeah. tips and treats. All for free. There you go. So that's us. So what was that address again? <laughs> Sustain nutrition. Uh -huh. <laughs> uk, and there's a link at the top for a free nutrition review. Cool! Okay, increase the peace.